Good afternoon to everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank the organization for inviting me to this great event. I'm pleased to be here and to have the opportunity to present our work. I have no disclosure. <coughs> I'm an Italian nutritionist. I do not have lipidema or any other adipose tissues. I have other issues. Uh, but, <laughs> but I'm particularly interested and involved in hormonal balance and lipidema. That's why I'm here today. During my clinical practice uh, through the last 60 years, I could study and collect cases and data, which allowed me to write a book and design my clinical study, reporting my conclusions on the subject, in particular from a nutritional point of view. The study, the title of the study is uh, Lipidema and Nutrition. I fat ketogenic diet as a treatment of choice. My thanks to my colleagues who took part in this journey and to Leo Lipidema Italia for the support. We compared the effect of a high fat ketogenic diet to the ones of a low carb anti-inflammatory diet in patients suffering from lipidema. The sample we used consisted in 48 women diagnosed uh, with lipidema stage 2 to 3, divided into two groups. The exclusion criteria included the male gender, pregnancy, and patients undergoing surgery procedures. Furthermore, we included patients uh, who were not going or any specific diet. An anthropometric evaluation and a questionnaire of symptoms caused by lipidema were performed to each patient. Candidates underwent a first medical check during which they had to fill in a questionnaire based on their lipidema symptoms. Then we gauged anthropometric data such as weight and body measurement to compare them to the ones after eight weeks. They followed one uh, of the two diets uh, who, whose outcomes were checked after four and eight weeks as well. So these were the elements that we took into account to take the anthropometric data. Waist at the navel, hips, root tide, and mid tide. But the most important thing is the questionnaire to evaluate the grade of the pain and other symptoms. We used a questionnaire. We asked patients to answer this question by using a scale from 0 to 10, when 0 stood for the absence of symptoms and 10 for the most suffering level. The question involved the pain, the swelling, the feeling of tiredness or heaviness in the lower limbs, as well as the quality of life or the level of dissatisfaction about the appearance of the leg. This is a food list, the two diets for the indication of the anti-inflammatory diet with the specific exclusions of milk, dairy products, processed meat, added sugars, and nightshades. Both groups were indicated to eat a considerable quantity of blue fish due to the high amount of omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acid and plants, including vegetables, added mushrooms, tea, coffee, chocolate, herbs, and spices to explore the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory property of the phenol phenolic compounds, polyphenols, three terpenes and the terpenoids. Both groups were supplemented with magnesium, potassium and vitamins to make up for shortcomings and bromelain for its enzymatic and anti-inflammatory activity. Bromelain is a fundamental and essential supplement for lipidema. 
It is an important proteolytic enzyme extracted from pineapple stem, which has anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and anticoagulant properties, but above all is able to act at fibrotic tissue level thanks to its lytic properties. We analyzed the effect of two types of diet. The candidates of the first group were given a high fat ketogenic diet consisting of four meals whose breakdown of nutrients was as follows, uh, 17 fat, 20% proteins and 10% carbohydrates. We paid particular attention to the food quality and its variety and we chose high quality fat and in particular medium chain, medium chain fat such as coconut and coconut oil for the trophic effect on the lymphatic system. The second group for the uh, low carb anti-inflammatory diet consisting of five meals whose breakdown of nutrients was as follow 30% fat, 25% proteins, and 45% carbohydrates. The carbohydrates given were fewer than in a standard diet, apart from starch, no refined, and high in fiber such as pulses and whole grains. Another part were simple sugar as fruit and vegetables. Now we can turn into the result of the study. This slide shows the changes in body weight and the anthropometric measurements after eight weeks of a ketogenic diet. This diet induced a significant weight loss. Additionally, there was a remarkable decrease in waist circumference. Lower limb measurements also showed a significant reduction after eight weeks in hips and the root and media point of the legs. Statistical analysis of the anthropometric data of the sample of people who have followed a low-carb anti-inflammatory diet for eight weeks also showed statistically significant results. Anthropometric data part, what interested us most were the significant results recorded in the statistical analysis of the symptoms. High-fat ketogenic diet resulted in a great reduction in all the symptoms, including the feeling of pain in the affected areas, sensitivity to touch or pressure, the feeling of heaviness, tiredness, and swelling in the legs. Finally, an improvement regarding dissatisfaction with the appearance of the leg was recorded. A regression of symptoms was also revealed in the sample of people who followed the low-carb anti-inflammatory diet, but not as impressive as ketogenic diet, as you can see comparing the slides. Finally, I like to put in evidence some parameters such as the circumference of the hips, as far as hips measurements are concerned, Results were pretty similar, and the difference between the initial measurement and the last one is around six centimeters for ketogenic diet and for low-carb diet. So we can say that the two types of diet have pretty the same effect on anthropometric measurements. As we already seen comparing the results of the questionnaire, we can see that there is a remarkable difference between the two diets. Ketogenic diet was more effective than the low-carb diet in reducing symptoms. The average of the first group was higher than the one of the second, especially concerning the heaviness, the sensitivity to touch, and the quality of life. So, 
What I want to stress is that despite the similarity of the anthropometric measurement, the symptoms in patients undergoing a ketogenic diet have dramatically dropped compared to the ones of the patient undergoing on the, a low-carb diet. So the conclusion are that high-fat ketogenic diet led a significant fat loss and, um, in the lower limbs, uh, but uh, a great improvement in the symptoms. I go fast because I, I end the, the, the time. And my, my take home message is that reducing the symptom is often considered a priority by most of the women compared to their physical aspect. And a balanced nutrition is a powerful means to reduce the symptoms and uh, to keep uh, the, the symptoms under control. So it's not just about weight. My contact information and uh, what I want to tell you that uh, uh, lipidema, it's not your fault.